Hello children! Today we have a very amazing and awesome challenge. This challenge you have one week all the Easter holidays to create. I'm not going to explain the, the tutorial video. You are going to watch a video with an English man speaking about how to use this app. This app's name is Paul Tone is an animation or animated presentation. You can create animated presentation. You have one week all your holidays, so relax and try to watch the video once, twice, three times, four times, the time you need. Relax, don't panic, okay? Because it's not so difficult. It's just a creative activity. If you are original and creative, you can do it. It's a very, very funny application. Look, we have to create a presentation about how to be happy. What can we do to be happy? Are you happy? I am very happy. So, how to be happy? For example, for me, to be happy, it's good. For example, to have good friends or, for example, enjoy reading, play with your friends, eat fruit, practice at, at, at a sport, practice sport, go to the cinema, love your friends, love your family, kiss your man. For me to be happy, you need a lot of things, okay? So, what do you need? What do you need to be happy? What is happiness for you? That is the main idea of the challenge. And you have to create a presentation using Poton. Okay? How to be happy. Create a presentation about how to be happy using Poton. You can use imperative, very simple. Just let's, let's have friends, let's uh, enjoy, or whatever. Okay? Let's watch the video. You can do it. I trust on you. You are the best student. So you can do it. Come on. Don't panic and solve this oval uh, challenge. Let's see. Let's watch the video. Hey guys, Ryan from PowToonTricks.com here with a tutorial video on how to create your first Powtoon. Today I'm gonna to go over some basics when you're first starting out on Powtoon, things you need to know that will make it much easier when you start creating these videos. So what we're gonna do is log into powtoon.com. You're gonna log into your account and click start now, at which point you should have all these options pop up. You have blank project, promotional video, you have slideshow, you have social clip. There's all sorts of great templates built in to Powtoon, but for today what we're going to do is open up a blank project. We'll call this our first Powtoon create. It's gonna load up. Okay, when you see it's finished loading here, there's gonna be a couple things we're gonna look at to get started. You're gonna see all sorts of buttons, and I'm gonna give you a brief overview of what each one does and how to use them effectively. So up here is, we'll start off with, these are the slides. These are what you're going to build. So this is the slide, you can see they correlate here. This is what we're going to build our Powtoon on. So each slide is going to be 10 seconds long to start, that's the default. You can see the length right down here. Uh, to extend the length of a slide, you click on this little plus button. To decrease it, you click on this little minus button. It's simple as that. You can make them as short as one second. I don't know why you'd want to do that, but you can also extend them to be longer, so 20 seconds. So today we're going to stick with the standard, which is going to be 10 seconds. We're going to come up here to slides two and three because we don't need those, and we're going to go to delete, which is right here. You can see delete slide to add a new one. You'd click that. So we'll delete that slide, delete that slide. We have our one 10 second epic movie ready to go. Okay, so over here on the right side is where 
basically everything you need to know is we have our text, we have our image holders, characters, animated characters, props, markers, shapes, and backgrounds. And there are numerous different styles. We have the, the Picto style, which is here. You have the paper cut style. You have the, uh, the marker style. I mean, these all depend on which version of Powtoon you have. If you scroll over here, you can see some more. But right now, today, what we're going to do is we're going to stick with the, the Picto style. And so what we're going to do is we will go in and select our... our uh, first, we want to pick out a background we want. So if you see here, you can kind of click and preview. If you notice, each time you click a background, it's going to preview a different color. So we'll stick... A, we'll go with a nice green. No, nah, we won't use green. We'll use, we'll just stick with white today. All right, so animation. Uh, we're going to click on one of these characters, and over here are animated characters. You can see presenting, playing guitar, waving, versus the regular characters are just standing. They don't move. So today what we'll do is we'll select our uh, our little bodybuilder, little bodybuilder guy. And if you notice, we, we just clicked on it. It automatically pops up. You can resize them by dragging the mouse cursor to any one of the corners and dragging it bigger or smaller, and the quality will not be affected because these are all vector vector graphics, which means they'll be the same, same quality no matter what size you drag them. So we'll just keep him nice normal size. All right, so down here, you'll notice on our timeline, uh, he's shown one second. You can drag that this way, and then we have another one shown at 10 seconds. So basically, this is where our character enters and exits the scene. So I'm going to set his entrance at one second, and I'm going to have him come in from the right. All right, so we'll go play. You see our guy slide in. So that's cool. We can have him fade, which would look like this. We can have him pop up, which would look like this. There's all different kinds of effects you can use to get these guys to enter the frame. All right, I like... Let's see, we'll keep them popping up. We'll have them pop up at the one second, and we'll have him exit at the nine second mark, and we'll have it go have it go down out of the frame. All right, so now we have our guy nice and, and ripped. He needs some props in the scene with him. So what do we have here? We have hearts, we have uh, earth, we have coffee, we have pizza. So let's find something that would suit this tough guy well. We'll give him a weight. So drag the weight, put the weight right here. Uh, let's see, we'll give him a cat too. Bring a cat right here. So now we have our, our bodybuilder, our cat, and our weight. So if you look down here on the timeline, they all come in at different at different parts. We have our bodybuilder coming at one second. Let's make the cat and the uh, weight come in at the three second mark. So what we'll do is we'll click on the cat. You come over here. It's set at the three second mark. We'll have him uh, fade in. Our weight is set at the two second mark right now. So we'll drag that over to the three second mark and have that fade as well. Let's see, our bodybuilder's exiting at 9, so we'll make our cat exit at 9 as well, and we'll have him drop down out of the frame, and our weight will exit at 9 as well, dropping down out of the frame. Okay, so to preview these, if you notice over here is our playing panel. This is play all slides from the start. This is play the current slide. This is play current slide and continue, and this is play the current slide. If you can read, you can figure that out. So we'll do this just to test it. So they both came in at the right time. You get their time on the screen and then they're gonna drop out at the nine second point. All right, to add text, a couple different ways. You can come up here to the add text button, double click to edit. You can type whatever you want, you know, delete. Other option to add text up here. This is probably the better option. So we'll go back to where all our guys are. Up here, on the we have a bunch of different effects. We have a scribing effect. We have word by word, all sorts of different ones that you can play around with, see which ones you like. We'll go with letters bouncing for this one. So we'll click to edit. I'm a beast. You can edit the font, drop down menu. You can see all the different ones. We'll give them a nice, uh, nice beastly font, make it nice and big. So we'll put this up here right above his head. And with the text, it's the same thing as the characters when they enter in. Click the text, it will show you where it enters and where it exits. So we'll want to have this one drop out with the rest of it in nine seconds. And we'll have it enter in at a, the uh, two second point, which is right after where our bodybuilder friend enters. So this is how it would look right now. Flexing nice and hard, and then they all drop out. All right, so it's cool. Needs a little music to spice it up. Music up here, 
the sound button, click on that. They give you all sorts of music to choose from, depending on which package you purchased. There are different ones available. We'll go with uh, something nice and dramatic, since he seems like a dramatic guy. You can test them out by clicking play. We like that one. We'll add it in. Click apply. Click preview. Perfect, that's what we want. So when you get that one, what you're gonna do, you're gonna go up here to save. Make sure you save it before you preview it, which is going to be this button right here. Click on preview, a uh, new window will open up that will let you preview your Powtoon before you export it so you don't have to waste an export. We'll test it out. Looks good. So what we'll do is we'll go back and all you need to do is click HD file or YouTube export. They both do the exact same thing. Uh, this pops up. You can upload it to YouTube if you want, add on your account, or you can download a file. If you click export, they would send you an email with an MP4 file that would say when your file's ready, it normally takes less than two minutes. And so that's it. You should be able to create your Powtoon and have a better understanding. And for more tips and tricks, go to powtoontricks.com and tune in and subscribe for more videos. Thanks.